how to fix Google Search Console unnamed item issues. In this video session, I'm going to show you a couple of workarounds if Google Search Console is showing you unnamed item and you're scratching your head thinking, well, that has green checkbox and what in the world is unnamed item is about. Or when you're testing rich results test, certain, certain item types may show up unnamed item. And you're thinking, well, what in the world is that? How do I fix it? Now, if we were to grab a sample from Google Help section for structured data and run a test on it, the tester tells us, you know what? There is something called breadcrumbs, but it has unnamed item. Now, First, let me quickly show you how to fix that. So, we have a breadcrumb list. Let's do something like that. So, that's a JSONL disk script, right? Let's say menu. So, we've added a name for breadcrumb list, which is the type. Let's run a test to see what happens now. We still see breadcrumbs, but now unnamed item is gone because we have named our breadcrumb. And since this is a JSON LD script, that's a perfect solution for breadcrumb item type. I'll actually show you a workaround for microdata. So that was the JSON LD. The same thing. Let's imagine we're running a test on microdata. We end up seeing unnamed item. So to fix it, what you can do is you can actually use meta tag, item prop, name, content. In this example, I've just said menu name, but I could have easily said menu. Now, that's a workaround, and that'll fix unnamed item issue for breadcrumb list. Now, I'll show you popular WordPress plugin, such as Yoast and so on. They're trying to add structured data, but they shouldn't. But if you're using Yoast and you end up seeing something like this, then you need to add it, the plugin file. Then you need to search for breadcrumb list, find out exactly where that is coming from, from your plugin. So if you're using different content management system, you need to follow this approach as well. And in that, in that, plugin file, you'll have breadcrumb list. That means it's just a matter of adding this line of code well, actually I'll show you the JSON LD type. Let's do something like this. Remove that. Let's say that's name. And let's say that's menu. So if you then upload that file to your server, that'll fix the JSON LD schema markup Yoast plugin adds. Yeah. Before I close up, keep in mind that certain item types the rich results tester may complain about by saying unnamed item, that's actually okay for certain item types. And I think that's what the problem is about with Rich Results Tester, as well as Google Search Console, because they are asking for a name for all item types that they support. And yet, some item types cannot be named. Make sense? I know that's rather confusing because 
to be able to understand how we scope structured data, we need to have in-depth knowledge about how structured data works. Remember, when you're conducting your test, even when you see unnamed item with a green checkbox, you don't really have to stress about it. You may actually ignore it. It's still a valid structured data. I'm just showing you a couple of tips and tricks for you to test for your schema marker. So if you're like someone like me who doesn't want to see things like this, then perhaps you want to include the workarounds that I've just shared with you. Okay. So for more insights, check out Rank Your YouTube channel and Rank Your website. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.